Okay, hello everyone. I brought you here today because I was thinking about doing some sort of ranking before the live finale comes out, which is on Friday, Saturday. It's a different time in Korea than it is in LA. But I thought I would tell you who my final six are. Um, and I was trying to think of a creative way to do it. And I was thinking like, should I do like an Abby Lee Miller style dance pyramid? But that just feels like wrong and nasty and rude and not very helpful. So anyway, um, here's my Dream Academy Pyramid. On the okay, I just want to start off by saying, whose video have you clicked on? That's right, my video. So, I just want to preface the video by saying, I do not hate any of the girls. If I had it my way, they would all debut. I love all of them. I'm so proud of them, and I think they've done an amazing job so far, okay? This is just a video to say who my top six are, and who I think might not make it plain and simple okay i don't hear anyone in the comments saying you hate this person you hate this person you've hated that person since the beginning you don't value this person because of this that and the other can we all just calm down okay we're just giving an opinion ew now that that's out so i thought i would just quickly start off by saying who i think is not gonna make it now that doesn't mean if any of these four girls made it in that i would be any less happy i would be happy if any of them made it in this is just who i think is probably on the weaker end of the final missions i'm also taking everything into account okay i'm taking in my opinions the public opinions and also just trying to be super unbiased by like what happened in the videos also Quick side note, the reason I'm also making this video is because Dream Academy may have stitched my video on TikTok, so... Okay, without further ado, this is in no particular order, by the way. This isn't like, this is the last person, the second last person. This is just like, everyone who I think might not make it. But we're gonna start from the beginning, which is... Marquis. Now, honestly, I thought Marquise was going to go home last time, but as much as I'm glad that she's staying because I think she has been improving a hell of a lot, I just do think she is lacking that confidence. I felt like I was kind of wanting a bit more after the confident video was released, and I think she is improving still, but we just don't have enough time, and I think there are some other girls that have improved beyond Marquise, and I think they're ready to debut now. I'm just not convinced that Marquise is ready to debut just yet. I think she brings a really nice essence to the group, and I think she would be a fantastic member if she was to debut, and I would just hope that maybe her improvement would happen a little bit quicker, or maybe the company would kind of hone in on her abilities and the things she's really good at. But yeah, in terms of like vocal ability and dancing, I've just not been completely wowed by Marquise. But I do think she fits in really well with the group. If she was a debut, I'd be really happy. Moving on to Samara. Now, honestly, Samara could have been in my top six. I think she's a beautiful vocalist. I think, especially from the Still Into You video, she's kind of wowed everyone. Um, mostly for me for her ad-libs rather than just her plain singing. But we do have to take into account the kind of things that have been going on, the things that have come to light. I'm just not sure it would be great for her to debut in the group, already starting straight off the bat with something bad. I do think maybe it was something that had to have been addressed, however, we know with Hype, they don't tend to address things really, they just kind of hope it kind of boils down under the water. But do I think a global girl group should start with a controversy? Probably not. Um, and I do want to hold her accountable to her actions too, so for now I think she's going to be in the bottom. However, I know she has a huge fan base in South America, which since Celeste is not there anymore, I think she is going to get a lot of the votes. So we'll see what happens with that. However, I do want to say that her talent is amazing. I thought she's improved a hell of a lot in her dancing. I thought from mission two to mission three, again, totally different. I thought she brought a fantastic kind of energy to Wannabe and... I would be really excited to see what she would do in the future, but again, I just want to stand on my ground and say that the things that I've seen are unacceptable, so she's going to stay there for now. Next, Manon. Now, honestly, from each mission, I've kind of felt like I've been wanting more from Manon, especially from mission one, I felt like she didn't have enough lines, and the lines she did have didn't wow me enough. Similarly to Mission 2, I thought she had more lines and she had more centre time, but I could see that she wasn't that confident in her dancing. Now, not everyone is a dancer, not everyone's Emily and Daniela and Megan. 
However, I do think some of the other girls who aren't dancers, like Lara and Sophia, they've been keeping up really, really well with the others. With Manon, I just think she hasn't been keeping up as much. Also, the Buttons performance, she looked gorgeous. But again, I was left wanting so much more. I feel like when it was her centre time, she just didn't give enough in her face. She seemed a little bit like she was holding back something, I'm not sure. I think her voice could really work with like the kind of new generation of music that's coming out right now. Um, and I think she would be a great addition to the group. But from what I've been seeing from the other girls, I just think they are a little bit stronger than Manon. But I'd love to see what happens in the finale. Maybe she pulls something out of the bag and she would completely like wow me in that sense. But I do have to look at the performance as a whole. And as a whole, I just don't think she brings everything to the table. Which brings me on to my last one, which is... <laughs> Ezrella. Now, I love Ezrella so much, especially hearing about in Mission 3 that she lost her grandpa and still went forward with the performances. Like, I have to give her her respect. I do want to say, though, every mission, I've kind of not been wowed by Ezrella. I think in the New Jeans OMG mission, she brought a really nice cuteness to the dance. I didn't feel like her dancing wowed me. I just thought her energy was really nice. <sighs> Similarly to Fearless, I thought she had a nice energy, but it kind of felt similar to OMG, and Fearless is like a very different concept. I also felt like she didn't make enough of her solo moments, you know, her like centre time, and the part where she's just singing the cameras on her, I felt like she should have just made way more of that. And then, to be honest, in Wannabe, I thought that was like her kind of vibe and she did really, really well. I thought she kept up with Emily fantastically. I'm just not wowed by Ezrella and I want to be wowed so badly. I think she has such a nice personality and she would make such a good member of the group. Um, especially bringing Australia into the mix, like, it would just be amazing to have her. However, I just don't know if she's a strong enough character for the group. That being said, I do think if she was in the group, I think the company would find a really good position for her where she would be able to shine out massively. I mean, the girl speaks Japanese, Korean, she speaks like four different languages, I'm pretty sure. So it would be amazing to have her in the group. Um, and honestly, I'd be really excited if Israela was in the group because she's someone that I'm always like excited to see what she might do next. But like I said, the other girls I feel like have shown me more of what they can do, so... I don't know, I just hope that she can wow me in the finale. Again, quick privis, love to all of these girls and, you know, wishing you the absolute best for the finale. And if any of them make it through, I will be so happy. Even if these are all in the group and there's like, you know, two more people, then again, I'll be really happy. Let's move on to my top six. This one is in order of like who I think is definitely making it and who I think is just about gonna make it. So let's not waste any more time, let's just get straight to it. So on the bottom of the pyramid... On the bottom? Paige! Uh, Emily! Now Emily I think is a fantastic performer, all of us know this, she's an immense dancer, she's probably the best dancer in Dream Academy, um, but what I will say is her vocal is lacking. However, I do think it is something that we could work on. I mean, Megan and Daniela aren't exactly vocalists, but they seem to utilise their voice in a really good way that makes it kind of work with their tone and their ability. And I feel like we could do the same with Emily. Apart from Emily's dancing, I do think there is one thing that is kind of pushing her into the group more than her dancing, and it's her likability. She's such a likable person. She's so entertaining, she's so smiley and happy all the time. She seems like such a nice person in Dream Academy as well, so I think she'd be a great addition to the group. She also has a really nice, unique look to her, and I find her really easy to watch whenever she's dancing or performing in general, so. Emily was my number one pick from Mission One, so this feels a little bit weird putting her at the bottom of my six, but, Love you, Emily. Okay, moving on to the next one, which is... Yunche. Now, I'm gonna stick by Yunche until I run out of breath in my lungs. She is 
an overall performer. She's a very decent singer, she's a fantastic dancer, and she has great stage presence. I think she has a great understanding of what K-pop is and performing in that kind of like realm. And I think that's something we could really utilize in a global girl group. Um, I also do think we should include a Korean member if we're gonna go with like HYBE coming to America with its like global girl group. I do think having a Korean member would influence the fandom and also just the overall aesthetic of the group. And even Yun Chae being such like a stable performer, I just think, especially for her age, she definitely deserves a spot in the group. I do think her age might hinder her slightly because the group won't be able to do some sort of concepts that I think the Dream Academy group might want to do. Anyway, let's move on to number four, Megan. I love Megan. I love Megan with all my heart. I vote for her every single round. I love her so, so, so much. I think she's one of the most underrated in terms of the global voting, which Hello, I'm watching you. I think she's amazing. I think she's such a fantastic performer. She's top three dance material within the whole of Dream Academy. Especially from Mission 3, I was really surprised to see how well she could like carry her vocals. She was so stable. She was hitting some notes that I never thought she was gonna do. Also, she's proved to be a fantastic leader in every group that she's been in. And I just think, especially watching her behind the scenes of like their TikToks and all of their like behind the scenes footage, I think she's a really likeable person. I think all the Dream Academy girls really get on with Megan and as much as like being a great performer and being able to attract the eye of the public, I do think being a team player and being like a favor favorable person within the group is really important. Why am I like crossing my hands like I'm Simon Cowell? Anyway, please, please, please vote for Megan. I love Megan so much, oh my God. I want Megan to debut and I feel like the votes aren't carrying her, so please, everyone, keep your fingers crossed. I really want Megan to debut. Okay, moving on to number three, which is Sophia. Now, if anyone's been watching my videos, you know that, like, I wasn't 100% on the Sophia train. She caught my eye in Mission 1, and she didn't exactly make me, made me feel like I was, like, really impressed from Mission 2. Mission 3 came around and I thought, especially finding out that she had COVID, I thought she did fantastic. The more I watch Dream Academy, the more I think she is just such a staple member in the final group. I think all the girls really enjoy her. She's pretty much an ace. She can do dancing, singing, and well, I don't know if rapping is something that we want in this group, but she's a fantastic overall performer. Got her fan vote locked in, so the girl's making it. I'm, I'm not gonna prove anything to you guys. But I think she also has just proved herself to be a fantastic leader of the group. I don't know if she necessarily will be the leader in the group, but I think having good leadership skills works in a group setting massively. Um, I also think, again, similarly to Emily, that was weird. Similarly to Emily, Okay, anyway, she's a really likeable person. I think she is great on camera, behind the scenes, and also when she's performing. And I think that's something you really need in a pop group. I think it's like a huge part of why the Spice Girls were so big, Little Mix was so big. Fifth Harmony, you could kind of see there was cracks in there, which kind of hindered them a little bit towards the end. Whereas if we build a group where like the people like them and they like each other, I think that's a recipe for the next big thing, basically. And I think Sophia is a huge staple in that. I think she has great center material. She could be Hive's next big it girl. Let's just leave it there. Number two, Lara. Now, Lara for me was like probably in my top six from mission one. Then mission two, kind of similarly to Sophia, I was a little bit let down. I was still really impressed, but I just, she didn't catch my eye that much, you know? But since mission three, I would have placed her at number one, to be honest. There is a number one that's taking the spot. But I do think she is just like one of the best vocalists in the whole of Dream Academy. And she's also a fantastic performer. The way she performed Confident blew my mind. I think she is incredible. I think she has what it takes to be a pop star. I think she's 
so ready. These two especially are just ready to be pop stars. They're ready to be in the industry, they're ready to work hard, and they're ready to be in whatever group this is going to be. I think especially Mara coming from Indian heritage, I think it's so important to have something like that within the group, you know? I just love her vocals. I love her runs. I love her high notes. I love how just like smooth her voice is. And she's proved herself this whole process to improve massively. Coming from Mission 2 to Mission 3, they are two separate people in my mind. So I'm excited to see what Mara does in the future as well. And I think this is no surprise that my number one is... Daniela. I've been a Daniela stan since Pink Bear. Oh my god, I love Daniela so much. I think she is the epitome of a performer. Do you hear what I'm saying? Performer. She is incredible. Watching her from a dancer's perspective, yes guys, I'm a dancer, get over it. I trained in dance, I majored in dance, I have a master's in dance. This doesn't make me the all knowledgeable being of dance, but I can tell she is such a mature performer the way she was dancing buttons it just like she executed everything perfectly without reaching too much when it wasn't her center time to reaching just enough when it was her center time she fits in really well the, with the aesthetic of any group and i think she just brings something different to every single performance that she's done she seemed to fit all the concepts that she's done so far and i'm just I love her. I'm obsessed with her. She really blew me out of the water in Mission 2 when she did go from zero straight to... I've got neighbours that are gonna start shouting at me in a minute. But she's proved to have good vocals. And it's not that she's the best singer in Dream Academy, but she's using her vocal ability in a way that just fits everything she does. Like, she seemed to have this sultry undertone in Buttons. She had this powerful attack tone in Fearless. I just think she's perfect for the group and I think she is the best performer in the whole of Dream Academy. Hold me to it. If this was the final six, I would be so unbelievably happy. However, I do know people's votes might change and things might happen. So what I will say is I think if it's one, two, three and four, I'm gonna walk home very happy. If it's five, I'm gonna be even happier. And if it's six, I'm gonna pre-order the album. Anyway guys, let's just finish off with saying that I'm so proud of all of the Dream Academy girls that have performed so far, even from mission one to the final, I think everyone has done an amazing job, I'm so proud of you. And I think this has been a really unique thing that Hybe and Geffen has done and I've been thoroughly entertained with everything they've put out. Whoever debuts, I'm going to support you regardless and yet again, I just want to say, there is no hate to any of the girls. I love all of the girls. If they could all debut, I'd have them all debut, okay? So don't come for me in the comments. I can hear you bitches already. Make sure you tune into the finale, which is Friday the 17th. I don't know what time zones we're looking at. I'm pretty sure in Korea it's going to be like midday when it comes out. So I will be watching and I will try and upload a reaction video too. Um, let me know in the comments who your final six is. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. What the hell? Anyway, guys, this is my final six and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.